because I know you've only been in the industry for about two years. Does it still ever like trip you out that you have these people that follow you and that really? Yes. Oh my gosh. Hell yeah. Um, it's, it, 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 like it can get stressful at times. Mm -hmm. Um, cause yeah, like the, you just get more and more and more, the more you get in the industry and then it's like, yeah, but it's, it's not terrible. Um, I, I, I like it. I like talking to my fans and I like getting their requests and all that. So yeah, I think it's. So you do customs? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Have you ever done, had like a really weird, crazy custom request? <laughs> Oh my God. Oh God. Before I even like went out, um, into Vegas for my first time to shoot, mm -hmm. um, this guy, he asked me, um, to shit in a, like a container mm -hmm. and ship it to him. And I almost did it, but I, then I realized that maybe I would get in big trouble for that if they caught it or something. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Does that count as hazardous waste? I feel like so. Because I do think that there are restrictions of what you can ship. I mean, obviously you can't sell, you can't ship like illegal drugs and stuff like that. Mm. Um, I mean, even alcohol, like the person has to be over the age of 18 and sign for it. Like, yeah. I don't know. I feel like poop it falls under like hazardous waste material. Oh, for sure. Yeah, because that, the uh, maybe a year ago, this girl, Bella Delphine. Yeah. Yeah, with the- Bath water. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you, so the uh, only reason was the postage, but otherwise. Uh, yeah. yeah, I was about to. Shit. <laughs> Man. So uh, what did you, were you just like, sorry, man, I can't. Yeah. Like, postage. Mm -hmm. You can come like receive it from me in person, maybe at a convention. You can just like bring in a little like ice bag and just like. Put a bunch of oh God. Oh yeah. Just, it's just for a fan. <laughs> Smoke like shit. <laughs> I had a guy that used to email me and he would follow up every year to see if I'd changed my mind um, because he wanted to eat my poop. And the way the, it was, the best part was that it was this really eloquently crafted letter, you know, and it was very well written. And, you know, he said that uh, he really uh, wanted to taste my toilet treats. Um, toilet treats. Toilet treats. He also called it scat caviar. Oh my God. And so he wanted me to go to, he would rent a hotel room. He would not be there. I would go to the hotel room. I would get the key from the front desk, go to the hotel room. I would poop in, I guess not in the toilet because you probably don't want to water your shit down, right? You yeah. want it to like keep it solid. <laughs> a poop in a bucket or something. And then I would leave and then he would come in and he would, and he described the whole dining experience. He would get like a silver tray and he would have like a chalice where maybe I could pee into. And then he would drink like my, my golden champagne, I think he called it. And he would enjoy <laughs> my scat caviar. And I was just like, oh my God. wow, you really, you really like have a whole thing yeah. around this. So, and I was like, you know, I'm not going to kink shame you, but no. <laughs> I'm sorry. And he's like, and he offered me money and I was like, I'm sorry. And then he offered me more and I was like, no. Uh -huh. And then like, yeah, like about once a year, I haven't heard from him in a long time, but about once a year he would write to me wow. and he'd be like, just checking to see if you change your <laughs> mind. And I was like, dead sorry. sets. Wow. That is so interesting. <laughs> but if someone gave you that like scenario where you didn't have to ship it, you went into a room and then you like left would you do it then, you think? Probably if I, if someone was with me. I was like, going to say, you have to bring a chaperone because yeah. who knows, maybe he's in the fucking room, like hiding behind the curtain. Literally. Right? Uh, yeah, you no. should bring a really burly dude and then make him poop into the bowl. So it's not even yes. your poop. Oh my God. That's such a good idea. <laughs> uh, I feel like if someone's going to eat your poop, they're, they're going to, you know, they should get the real thing. Mm -hmm. They're going to pay for it. Yeah, exactly. I'm honestly not entirely sure that he even really wanted to eat my poop. I think the fantasy was around the idea mm. and like soliciting me for the poop. 
Sometimes guys, when they have crazy customs, they don't necessarily want the thing. They just want to, like, fantasize about it and talk to you about it. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. So. Wow. Just, like, the fact that I can imagine just, like, a silver platter Mm -hmm. with, like, a plate of poop and, like, a little little teaspoon, maybe, like, a little parsley garnish on top of it. Teacup. Yep, a little teacup. Like. I mean, you can make it into a whole thing. Yeah, for sure. He has a tux on, whining and dining. 